I first started doing CFNY and playing the music we were playing, most other broadcasters thought that I had smoked something really bad and that I had lost my mind. They even talked about it on their own radio stations. There was this goofy little radio station out in a yellow little house in Brampton. Nobody listens to that. Well, we changed their minds. I remember CFNY, you know, it, it used to be such a rinky-dink little radio station, but it was the only, it was the only good station in town. You know, they were an alternate music radio station. They played the stuff that I wanted to hear. Anybody that I knew, that's the radio station you would listen to. It's the anything new, it's going to be there. It's not going to be on Chum. It's not going to be on Q107. But every day I would get notes from people on the telephone or I would get letters from people telling me how the, the, what they, the troubles they'd gone to to string wires around in their bedroom or hang coat hangers out their window in order to hear this thing. The fact that we were difficult to hear was part of the success because it made us underground. We were so underground you couldn't hear us. I used to say on the air, this is the FNY 102.1. If you can't hear us, move. <laughs>